kerfuffle. Ker kerfuffle. A, um, a big thing between um, Russia or the USSR and uh, the United States or America. And um, and it's settled, right? For the most part. Freaking Russia even added blue to their flag. So now they're red, white, and blue. Just like the old uh, English flag. Red, white, and blue. Look at that, huh? Red, white, and blue. Anyway, not a video about colors. This video is about... video is about the Arctic Ocean, and more importantly, Google uh. Trade. I have no idea what this is going to look like, because I cannot see myself right now, um, but anyway, I'm sorry, um, take into account this. This gigantic mass of sea, ocean, water that needs to be traversed distance. It is a substance that resists flow. I mean, I know it flows, but objects that move through it, there's resistance there. You've got to cut down on energy. Expended to move products, right? I mean, we got China. Maybe it was put the North at the top. I hope I don't get in trouble for using Google Earth in a video. Who knows? Someday uh, uh, that might happen. Not, this video might not be seen as good because I use the word shit someday. Anyway. <coughs> Pacific Ocean, and I mean, even the Arctic Ocean. Okay, I mean, that's a significant distance from London to New York, from the coast of Africa to one of these places where people have gone. why I don't make videos. I'm so sorry. It's often. Anyway. It's a very small ocean. Easily traversed. I say easily now. Only because probably because I'm not thinking of all the factors. But right now it's actually very difficult to traverse because of the ice and the cold, the temperature. But in the world where polar bears only live in zoos and there are no penguins at the North Pole. I never had that. But there are seals. Have there been penguins? I don't know if there have ever been penguins that have species that thrive in the environmental conditions of the North Pole. Not just the conditions, but the place itself, the Arctic Ocean, okay? And not only that, but all... I can't look in 
into the camera. You know, just look, okay? I want you to think about these areas, okay? The temperatures, the conditions of things, you know? Think of the reindeer people. Think of the reindeer. They will not survive the problem quite much. Not that it will be tropical. Ever. But it is not impossible. But I want you to consider about what it's like to be a person who does not live in a region such as this. see the state that things are in, in their life. And no matter what, no matter what horrible things we do, better people than us. Much better. Uh, don't hear. Not right now. It is important that I leave this video in its entirety and it is not edited. It is one continuous stream. so well to such a harsh climate and you you are amazing creatures and I know polar bears don't understand English and I know they probably will never be talked to in any way
can't relate our feelings to a polar bear. And of us, there are people who have tremendous influence on other us and other life and other resources and material. Okay? Some of those people might not care at all. the effects that they have on others who do not, they do not directly profit from. But, some of them do. Some of them do care about some things. The things that we do care about are efficiency and making things work and I am sorry I'm sorry for all of the life forms the lineages and uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't do any good it doesn't do any good except to make other people feel bad and maybe in feeling bad, they will not contribute to some things that are limiting things on this planet. But we, we, we as humans, we are not so much limiting as we are making things possible. We are making important things possible. And one of those things is resources being shared. And yes, I know, I know things are going to get boring. Diversity is going to drop. I mean, I do. Svalbard. I thought, hey, what a neat coincidence. The people who, I mean, it's not a coincidence. I, I, I don't think it was intended. It might have been intended by the people who made that, you know that seed vault? Uh, I don't know you said that before. Um, but it just kind of happens to be between Russia and the U.S. And I know Canada's there and Canada, you know, if you're watching. <laughs> I know you're there. I think you might be an important player or you might, you might get used. Or maybe you're using it. You're the middleman. What do you do? I can't remember who it is that owns um, Poland. 
um, what country Greenland is a part of. Um, I'm fairly certain it's a Scandinavian country. Norway, Sweden, Finland, Norwegian. I think it's Norwegian, but it's possibly someone else. And I don't even remember what country Svalbard is. Svalbard, Norway. I think it's. I think it's Norway. Svalbard, Sweden. really cool that they're positioned right there. It reminds me of space and people in the space agency, the scientists, the human beings who care, and the human beings end the video here because I still don't feel I've made my point and I don't want this video to be eight hours long or however long the limit is on YouTube videos something went wrong and try to reconnect oh shit sure how well <coughs> I'm not sure yet I'll find out though through experimentation and discovery listen cover you clean my fingernails. <laughs> Promise you. Pizza cut my mouth up. So I haven't had one of those in a long time. Long time. And uh, just makes me real.
it's the alcohol. Just 